Gun Boss Guns! <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gin here. Looking for another lovely League of Legends lesson? Well, Lux, the Lady of Luminosity, is looking to live long and lob lasers and light at losers from long range. What can I say? Ladies love alliteration. Let's learn how to Lux. Lux is a long-ranged mage with massive damage to multiple targets, primarily played in the mid lane. With her multiple sources of crowd control, excellent poke, and even a shield at her disposal, Lux can be played as a support as well. To make up for all this long-range power and utility she has, she lacks mobility, and every single ability she possesses is a skill shot. Lux's passive is Illumination. Her damaging spells mark her enemies with light energy for 6 seconds. Her basic attacks and her ultimate consume the mark and deal magic damage to the target that scales with her level. It's a small amount of damage, but wow does it scale up. In the early game, it's great for poking your opponents and helping you to last hit. Later on down the line, weaving an attack in between all of your spells leads to a ton of extra damage. Miss Crownguard's Q is Light Binding. It's kind of like Morgana's Dark Binding, but shinier. She throws a sphere of light in a line, striking up to two opponents. Both enemies are dealt magic damage and rooted in place. However, the second target gets only half the effect. So, while the first thing hit will be rooted for 2 seconds and take full damage, the second will be held for 1 and take half that. Do remember, by the way, that this is a root, not a stun. The target will still be able to attack, they simply can't do anything that lets them move. As it's Lux's best source of crowd control, take a point in Light Binding at level 1. It allows for offensive and defensive lockdowns early, and will later allow you to hold them in place while you shoot the whoop. We will, however, max it out second, as we'll get more damage, consistency, and utility out of leveling E. For her W, Lux can create a Prismatic Barrier. She throws out her wand in a direction of your choice, shielding herself and all allied champions in its path for 3 seconds. It will then return to her, again applying its shield. If it hits the same target twice, the shield is refreshed. So while it doesn't stack, if they take damage after the first shield, the second will come back at full strength to block more damage. Much like other boomerang effects, Prismatic Barrier will follow her when she moves to a new location. However, if she dies before the wand changes direction, it will fizzle once it reaches maximum range. With Lux, we generally want to focus on her damage. So while we will want to take a point in this early, say level 3 or 4 for safety, we will generally max it out last. However, if you are playing her as a support, you might consider taking more points early in order to keep your lane mates safe. With her E, the Lady of Luminosity generates a Lucent Singularity. She throws a ball of twisting light to a location, slowing enemies within its radius and granting vision even beyond that for 5 seconds. At the end of the duration, or if she activates it again, the ball will explode, dealing magic damage to all enemies in the area. While Lucent Singularity does slightly less damage than Light Binding, it is much more consistent. It can deal damage to more targets, thus applying Illumination to more targets, and is significantly easier to hit with, being a large zone of effect rather than a tiny little skill shot. In fact, its slow can make your other abilities easier to hit with. For all these reasons, we will take a point in Lucent Singularity at level 2 and max it out first. Finally, we reach Lux's ultimate, Final Spark. Formerly Finales from Kelm, Final Spark is a broad, long-ranged laser. After charging her laser for half a second, Lux deals massive, instantaneous magic damage to all targets in a line, triggering any illumination debuffs your targets have for extra damage and then immediately reapplying it. Not only is it ridiculously powerful, its cooldown is ridiculously short. With maximum cooldown reduction, you can be tossing this thing out every 30 seconds. That's shorter than the time it's taken me to explain the ability. Be sure to take a point in this every chance you can. For her summoner spells, Lux should pretty much always take Flash. She has no escape abilities of her own and is extremely squishy, so if enemies get up close and personal, she's probably very dead. A timely Flash can fix that. Ignite is great should you ever come on a circumstance that your normal combo won't outright kill your enemies. Barrier is better for a more passive Lux, sitting in lane and farming while making you much more durable. Lastly, consider Teleport. 
You can use it to hop to other lanes and gank or counter gank, getting in surprise lasers for further face melting. For runes, consider magic penetration marks, flat armor seals, ability power per level glyphs, and flat ability power quintessences. This is pretty standard, giving some early tankiness, especially against AD opponents, while giving plenty of damage later on down the line. You might also consider hybrid penetration marks, especially considering much of Lux's poke damage extends from using her basic attacks. You could also take mana regeneration seals, but we'll be doing quite a lot to mitigate those issues in other ways. I take 2109 masteries, getting tons of damage in the offense tree, of course, as well as movement speed, cooldown reduction, and some general utility in the, well, utility tree. All of this mostly works in favor of positioning properly for an attack and then vaporizing your opponents all at once. When building Lux in game, we have three primary concerns mana regen, cooldown reduction, and damage. Lux's spells consume quite a lot of mana, and poking, especially in the early game, can leave her useless very quickly. Fortunately, we'll be solving it fairly easily. Cooldown reduction and damage, of course, simply allow her combos to be used more often and more effectively. To start off, I recommend either a Doran's Ring and Health Potions, or a Fairy Charm and some combination of wards and potions. The former is strong all around, while the latter is defensive, letting you sustain more through potions and getting to our next item more quickly, the Chalice of Harmony. Chalice of Harmony solves basically all of Lux's mana problems while making her stand up better against most of her mage lane opponents. Once we make it into an Athene's Unholy Grail, it'll also give us a bunch of AP and half our max cooldown reduction. Awesome. As for shoes, you want to get a pair of basic boots along the way and turn them into sorcerer's shoes. That'll help you position your skills better, and magic penetration is never a bad thing. Now that we've got mana and mobility out of the way, it's time to start building damage. Rabadon's Death Cap and Void Staff should give you most of the power that you need to blow your opponents away from range. Merlinomicon works wonders, especially against teams with healers or sustained powerhouses like Dr. Mundo. Not to mention, it gets us up to maximum cooldown reduction. Time for lasers every half a minute! Once these are out of the way, one might finish off their build with a defensive item. Zonya's Hourglass gives more AP and is especially great since she lacks escapes. Consider grabbing this one earlier though if your lane opponent is attack damage based, like Zed or Pantheon. Banshee's Veil is also super awesome defensively, especially if they have strong crowd control that you need to cancel out. Abyssal Scepter works similarly against AP opponents, however remember that the magic resist reducing aura might not be useful for her. She wants to be casting spells at long range, and they might not be close enough for this to benefit you. Lichbane suffers a similar problem. It synergizes extremely well with her passive. Cast a spell and the target will get an illumination debuff and be a good target for your Lichbane proc. But again, getting close enough to make full use of it might end up with you dead. So use with caution. Majai's Soul Stealer is another popular pick on Lux. With her massive range, it's easy to pick up kills and assists, but several deaths can make this item a waste of space. So use this only if you're ahead and think you'll stay there. Leandri's Torment is powerful if you need some extra magic penetration. Though you likely won't get the full effect of its damage over a time, it is extra damage, and you'll likely get double effect thanks to the slows and roots from your E and Q respectively. Lastly, if you're playing support, consider starting with Spell Thief's Edge. Gold for poking, something that Lux excels at already? Yes please! Combat with Lux is all about poking your enemies until you think you have enough damage to kill them instantly. And believe me, once you hit level 6, killing things instantly can be pretty easy. If you manage to hit them with Q, your light binding, immediately follow up with E and R. Final Spark will detonate the illumination debuff from light binding and give them a new one. Hit with a basic attack, activate your Lucent Singularity to make it explode, and then hit them with another one. If you have an Ignite, of course, toss that in near the end. We've mentioned before that getting in close enough to auto-attack the enemy can be dangerous, in which case you may just want to use your abilities only. A lot of enemies can melt under just that onslaught, so you'll probably be fine. Just realize that this cuts off some 300 to 600 damage from the total. We mentioned that landing a light binding is very important, and it is. 
It holds them in place just long enough for you to make them vanish in a flash of light, anime style. But it can be quite difficult to land, being a very small projectile. To this end, you might use your E first. The slow can make them that much easier to hit. And it is, of course, much easier to land if they can't see it coming. Aiming from the brush or over walls can make their life much more difficult. Finally, remember that light binding can hit two targets. Don't be afraid to aim through a minion. It won't do as much damage or hold them as long, but the point is that it does hit them, letting you hit them with other things. In the laning phase, before you have your full combo, be sure to poke your enemy as often as possible. Hitting with your Q or E, followed by a basic attack, will deal lots of damage, striking fear in them and often causing them to miss golden experience. Throughout the game, don't forget that the range on Final Spark is massive, like multiple screens long, and the cooldown, as we've mentioned, is super short. Don't be afraid to use it for small things like clearing waves and minions, taking part in team fights you aren't near, or stealing Dragon and Baron. Heck, if you ward your enemy's Ancient Golem, you can use it to steal the buff from your lane. And do remember that Lucent Singularity gives vision. Toss it into bushes so that you don't face check the enemy team. Toss it into pits where objectives like the dragon sit to see if your enemies have taken it. Finally, though it's not part of your combo, don't forget that Prismatic Barrier is a thing you have. Be sure to use it, especially in teamfights. Pass it over as many of your allies that you can. Proper use of the thing can make Lux deceptively tanky and keep your team alive through quite a bit of sustained damage. Use its boomerang like nature to your advantage. Run to catch allies you wouldn't otherwise. Or, if you need to refresh the shield faster, run towards it. Lux is a long-ranged, high-damage boss. Land your light binding, fire all the lasers, and you will lead your team to victory. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed this guide, please let me know by hitting the like button. Speak up in the comments below if you have advice or questions. We're all here to learn. Subscribe for future stuff like guides, gameplay, and general silliness. Follow me on Twitch for streams and Twitter and Facebook to see what else is going on. Till next time, I've been Gin, and you've been watching me talk about a video game. Now, go have some fun, and remember, stay positive. I'm like a high-tech security system, shooting so many lasers that you never resist them. I hear my microwave that cooks you from long range, same distance as a standard lane goal change. 3,000, it's so arousing, come see me in time for a free deal out here. Range for miles and my team's all smiles, untouchable cause I'll snare all rivals. Bring more crowd control than the Rackhops, black hole construction on